look like a man who knows what he wants. Hey, 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 hey! What do you think? Nice house, isn't it? You like it? I'm selling it. You want to buy it? I'm downsizing. No, no, I'm good. I used to sell houses like this all the time, okay? I sold dreams. I made lives meaningful. I'm not sure about that. How oh, about you like? You like beautiful things, though, don't you? Sure. Well, I just happen to know the most beautiful woman. You want a bouncy bouncy. Josh. Josh Bernstein. Yeah. <laughs> I'm the Josh Bernstein. Yeah, I never heard of you. Oh, well, I used to be a big deal once in real estate, and so I had my license taken away. My meal ticket. Where's the chick? I'll get to that. I'll get to that. See, it's not really, it's not really money that I'm after here. It's just it's a little something more awkward than that. Now, Lenny Avery. <laughs> he he was my best friend. And now he has taken all of my clients. All of them. Do you think that you could take out all of his for sale signs? That was easy. She's worth it, man. I love you. I love you. I love you. Lenny Avery. What's going on? Oh, just enjoying a little labor dispute. See, we're about to do something really, really bad. So I need to present myself as a proper textile magnet, so... So you stop making anything? Nothing looks more suspicious in America than someone who's actually prepared to make something. <laughs> Jesus. What about you? Oh, pocket, Trevor. We're having some problems. Brad. Yeah, what else? So anyway, the Union Depository is on hold for now. Can't do it without him, especially now that he knows. Thank God you guys are here. You alone? Davey, where's your boyfriend, Steve? He's on his way up. Yeah, they're up here. Listen, this shit's about to hit the fan. Our entire lives together has been nothing but a series of fans and shits. Sort this problem out for me, and I will get Mr. Leisure Wear off your back. And if we don't? Then I will go to jail and you will get shot. Ah, fuck you, Dave. I've heard it all before. Not like this, you haven't. Has he briefed you? Oh, well, yes, he has. He told us that if we do what you say, then together we can take down the big bad wolf that is government corruption. Yeah, and if you don't, we're all gonna fry, because the agency's onto us. I've even got some fools in our own bureau that are questioning my methods. <laughs> think I'm a liar, a cheater, some kind of a killer and a thief. So? So, there's some uh, evidence, and I need you guys to find out what they know. All right, so what? You want Lester here to hack into the system, wipe it all clean? Oh, no, no, that will not work. The only way to access it is through your buildings. Oh, fuck me. <laughs> Michael, you'd be doing me a very big favor. And if you do this, I will make sure that all your files are deleted. I promise you. Hey! It's the last thing we do, and we're done. Period. Of course. I'm a man of my word. Dave, let's go. Come on, Lester, let's go. Good luck, gentlemen. So, you got any idea how we'll do this? Scope it out? Uh, not really, but I thought we'd start by finding a way into the building. We're going in through the parking lot? No, 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 no. we're waiting for someone to come out of it. A janitor. All right. And how's that gonna get us in? Well, the janitors are all on temp contracts. They get replaced when their backs go, or they ask for a day off. So, we find one of these guys, we turn him, and that's our end. Okay. They're a particular guy? I'm in the temp company's database right now. We found a guy about to clock off. Uh, I got the file here. Let me see. Harvey Molina, license plate 83QSL722. And we'll follow him and see what we think. Sounds good. Something's coming. Uh, not our guy. 
So, what do you think about this whole messed up situation? I think they'll either kill you after this is done, or keep you doing these stupid jobs until they don't have to kill you because someone else has done it for them. Yeah, that sounds about right. Here we go. Nope. So what do we do? Uh, what can we do? We do the job. And maybe you can delete the files when you're inside doing whatever else you're doing. That might be a way out. Yeah, well, a way out is exactly what I need. That's it? That's not it. It's hard to get motivated on a job without financial incentive. You can't put a price on freedom. Well, that spur won't be there for the crew. I'm gonna ask, ask Mr. Haynes for a budget. Maybe the leftover cash from the Polito score. We need something. Yeah, see what you can do. Ooh, what's this? This is not the car we're looking for. That's the one. Stay behind him, but don't let him see you. So what's gonna happen when this guy gets wherever he's going? He's gonna get his severance package. Huh, I can't tell if that's some creepy euphemism or a plain statement of facts. It's whatever you want it to be. <laughs> okay. smartphone or pad or whatever the hell that is for a minute. No surfing while I'm trying to tail this guy. It's work related. Yeah, well, I'd prefer all hands on deck right now, if it's okay with you. God, you're worse than my son. You want to break into the FIB's West Coast headquarters, you're gonna need more than a janitor's license plate number. Now let me work on some angles while you, uh, keep this car behind that one and between these white lines. That's it. I mean, other than a few missing expletives in terms of racial abuse, that was my son in spades. We've got the budget to pull this off. Good. Come on. What do we do when he gets home? What do we need from him? We need cooperation. And maybe his overalls and an ID. And if he don't cooperate? You know what it's like to clean up shit for Steve Haynes? He'll cooperate. He's pulling up. Park down the block. Go in and have a word. Maybe Harvey Molina. Berries, nuts. On the flip side, dude. Jesus. You got another one of those, Harvey? Who are you? The guy with your best interests at heart. Fill your pockets with money and all you gotta do is take a little vacation. Hey, I work two jobs, man. I'll take any break I can get. Good. Hey, you want the beer? Nah, I'll just take the overalls. Oh, and your ID. It's in there. Oh, and Harvey, I probably don't need to say this, but you don't play ball? I'll be forced to do something I really don't want to do. Enjoy your beer. Wonderful. A veritable treasure trove. That's a perfectly good sock. 
and an entire courgette. Just ignore us. Yes, don't mind us. Pretend we're not here. Okay. You're not Jock Cranley, are you? Actor and artist? I love your work! Oh, stunt double? Oh, our favorite show. Mrs. Thornhill, snap! Watch the birdie! Oh, we pretend to throttle me. <laughs> yes, yes, like you did on that, on that poster you did. Yeah, okay, all that would be my pleasure. <laughs> oh. uh, like that, huh? Yeah. Oh. Uh, uh, maybe something oh. like this? Uh. Or like oh. that, huh? You like that? That's enough, huh? Andrew. You like that? Oh. 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 Please. Oh, hey. Oh. Oh. Thank mm. you. Wow, that's quite a woman oh. there, huh? Oh. We are not worthy. We're, We're not, not worthy. worthy. We're, We're not I'm, worthy. Uh, I'm not Jock, uh, what's his name? Cranley. Big star in the 80s. We well, love celebs. Oh. That's why we came to Tinseltown. Yes. Before we met you, we were trying to break in to Bruce Spade's house and steal his rubbish. The things these stars throw away. Oh. They're not like you or me. <laughs> Mrs. Thornhill has the most unbelievable collection of celebrity underwear and bathroom products. Things they've actually used themselves. You guys have a great vacation, all right? I gotta go. We could do with some help. All this climbing over walls and rooting through bins. It's such a business. Nigel's got an arthritic knee. Yeah. What do you, uh, what do you need? Just a few Vinewood souvenirs for my mm. museum. No, no, look, look, look at this map. I mean, a lot of these places have famous people living in them and some that are just hanging about. Bring us some things. I'd be very thankful indeed. Americans are the most wonderful people in the world, aren't they? The best! <laughs> <laughs> Such fun! <laughs> <laughs> hey, what's the problem, dog? Steve fucking Haynes. Of course it's Steve fucking Haynes. It's always Steve Haynes. That is not strictly true. It's either Steve Haynes or it's Trevor or it's his family. It's always one of them. Yeah, that's true. It is always one of them. Well, fat old fuck with a horrible family and even worse friends. I told you, Franklin, I ain't a good role model. Period. Yeah, whatever, dawg. It's either this or Dylan dime bags. The bullets come cracking at your ass either way. Yeah, thanks. We need to find out something about this FIB building, a weakness or a way in. Next time I meet a morally destitute, totally delusional, highly corrupt government agent. I hope he's a nice one. Man, I'm not going in that motherfucker by myself. No, 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 no. Nobody is going in. We need to do some recon. We need a little more information. She. I need the architectural plans. But they're not online anywhere, so I'm gonna need paper copies. Now, the architect's name is Chip Peterson. This was his first big commission, and the office is down in Backlot City. All right. Franklin, you go tell him for a little while, and then we'll talk. All right, dog, I got you. Try not to hurt yourself. Oh, good, good, good. Hello, boy. What's that? You said a man is stuck in a tree. And he needs my help? Part of you would rather leave him there because he's a bit of a dick. But you're doing your civic duty. Okay, shit, show me. I've officially lost my damn mind. What, boy? He just jumped out of a fucking helicopter. His parachute fell to open? And now you kind of wish he'd missed a tree. But morality is a human construct and you are not hardwired to think that way? I can't believe I'm getting smart talked by a fucking dog. Say what? Wait, you talking about my kind of bitches or yours? This shit is getting weird now, man. Wasn't wrong. Look at this fool. Hey, bro. <laughs> you mind giving me a hand here? Man, that's a cool-ass dog you got, homie. 
What dog? That dog that saved your saved your ass, man. Dude, I have no idea what you're talking about right now. What the fuck? Hello? <laughs> when you got a moment. Here My bad, dog. <sighs> oh. Oh. Oh man, that was wild. <sighs> Woo! See, I'm not an adrenaline junkie. I'm a control junkie. Yeah, that parachuting is intense, man. And hey, if along the way I figure out what it means to be alive, well then, let's just make this a little spiritual and say I'm on a thought journey. <laughs> shit, nothing helps me think clearly like shit myself while I'm heading towards a certain death, man. Then you're up for it. Not really, dog. Shit, I respect gravity. Oh, I knew you were a pussy. <laughs> Come on. It's safe, I promise you. Safer than driving a car. The only way it's safer is if you drive a car out of a fucking airplane. Come on! Let's go! Here comes my pilot! Let's next level this shit! Yo, Jeff! You wanna take a bit longer next time, dude? Fuck, I gotta learn how to say no. You take the left side, man! Here's a headset to keep in touch with the Dominator, and a parachute to stop you from dying. All aboard? Okay, Jeff, round two, set her up. Roger that, buddy. Uh, you saw sure you're okay? That last one was in fucking sight. Dude, how crazy was that? I was dropping like a dot-com stock in late 2000. Cat out of the window. Tell me you got it, please. Tell me you got it. We gotta upload that shit right now. I'm uh, sorry, man, it's all out of focus. I couldn't keep you in the shot. I, I thought you'd frat for show. Oh, man, I could hear myself screaming. But inside, I was ice cold. Totally present in the moment. Like, for a few seconds, I saw everything, and it all made sense. You know what I mean? Like, everything. Shit, man, until your crazy ass hit that tree. Dude, did I choose the tree, or did the tree choose me? You know what I'm saying? It's the journey that matters, not the destination. Am I right, Jeff? Dominator, buddy. You are the Dominator. Because in the case of skydiving, shit, the destination seems kind of important to me. So <laughs> what syllabus did you rock? AFS? You all good with the PLS? Say what? What's your training background? Man, I found your crazy dumbass in the tree, and now I'm here. That's all the background your ass needs to know. Virgin in the drop zone! Hymen in the hole! <laughs> no, but seriously, I got you. Don't sweat it. It's not rocket science, although... It is, in some ways. But I'm talking metaphorically. Like, like you with that dog. I didn't get that, by the way. Wait, wait, hold on, man. So you telling me you had no memory of a fucking dog? Dude, there you go again. It's off kilter, and I dig that about you. But we need to get on the same page, bud. Strategize and synergize. You feel me? Like the double helix. Man, all I'm feeling is regret on a whole new level. Take the tampon out, bro. It's like riding a bike. Except at 100 miles an hour head first towards the ground. You can't go wrong. Am I right, Jeff? Statistically, saving than having a wank. What the hell? Yeah, man, you can totally get infections, you know? If you leave it too long between washes and, you know, yeah, it's a bad thing. Trust me, okay? Okay, guys, let's keep this hetero. <laughs> All you need to do is pull that ripcord there. Ideally, before you hit the dirt. So there's only one thing to remember, right? But your ass managed to forget it on your last dive. Oh, ho, ho. funny guy. Yeah, we'll see who's laughing when you're spraying out of both ends. I got a hundred on a code brown, Jeff. <laughs> Guaranteed. All right, I'm gonna jump second. Get that chocolate rainbow on film. Man, you two are dicks. <laughs> hey, you, you see that mountain up ahead? That's our DZ. Our what? Drop zone, dude. Get with the acronym, seriously. So if you check your rig, man, I don't know that one either. No, your rig, your pack, your fucking suit, bro. Every diver checks his own rig. Something goes wrong, it's on you. Wait, man, so how the hell do I... Okay, no more talking. We gotta get our minds in the game. Eyes on the prize. Think about gravity. Switch off before we switch on, you know what I'm saying? It's you against nature out there. There can only be one winner.
Franklin, man. Jeff, meet Franklin. Franklin, meet 10,000 feet. Take your bra off, bro. It's nearly man time. I'm so pumped! Okay, let's shred this! You first, Wolfo. Go on now. Do it! Whatever, bro. I know this bike. I know this body. I was operating at the perimeter of my parameters, and you were being reckless! And now you're having a winch. A what? Listen, meet me by the airport when you're grown up here, alright? There you are, Trevor. Ah, oh, if it ain't my favorite marksman, huh? How are you, Cletus? Fine and dandy, sir. You ready to hunt some elk? Ah, uh, beat satellite dishes. <laughs> Lead the way. Oh, here you go. Now, uh, put this in your mouth. A bad day hunting still beats a good day working, my pa always used to say. Hey, Mike. It's Franklin, man. I'm following the architect. All right. Don't fuck it up. All right. Hey, stupid! You can't be on here without a hat! Yeah, thanks a lot. Site inspection! Architect on site! Scope for improvement. Always is. 
Those idiots drilled the new caissons on the west side. You're kidding me. The bedrock ends there. We need caissons on the east side. Ah, uh, no drama. It's a government contract. We'll be paid until completion. I ain't taking a fall for this screw up. It's a government contract. Sounds like someone strangling a clarinet player. And I talk from experience. Shh, listen. Okay, you hear that? He's over there. You're downwind, so he's yours to lose, Trevor. Go get him! In the neck, not too bad at all! It's the great RT. Study him and study him hard. I was gonna wipe my ass on him. That's the engineer's plans. Mine you treat like a religious text, remember? Yeah, that's it. Another nice kill. So this is what I'm thinking. All this demand for wild-raised meat with them city folks right now? If we divide and conquer, I reckon we could make ourselves a tidy little sideline. Text me a photo of your quarry. I'll let you know what it's worth and come by to pick it up as soon as I can. I like my meat with some age on it anyways. Uh, what do you say? Yeah, I say we'll see. I got a few other irons in the fire at the moment. All right, well, the offer's there. And you can keep that elk collar. Was my grandma's before she passed. Uh, be hearing from you. Ah, it's cracking. Hey. You got him? Of course I do, homie. Here. Thank you. So, all good? Sure, homie. So is this shit for real? We just gonna rob the FIB and be allowed to walk by your boys like that? Yeah, I don't fucking know. Probably not. All right, Lester, what do you got? Uh, I don't quite know yet. Give me a minute. I'm not a fucking computer. Oh. Oh. Oh, maybe I am. <laughs> Here's what I think. We have two options. The new security software goes into containment mode in case of emergency, you know, uh, earthquakes, mudslides, acts of God. So we could plant some firebombs. They go bang, the emergency call goes out. We hijack it, show up as firemen, and then we grab the containment drive. Or we could hack the system on site. We'll go in by, uh, by air. Uh, hope we don't run into too much physical resistance. Sounds relaxing. Either bombing our office ran by a division of corrupt government psychos or defeating one of the world's most complex security systems using our worthless ass ninja skills, huh? Yeah, any, many, money, mo. If you favor the firebomb containment drive option, you'll go in with that janitor's ID you picked up. It'll be at night when most of the workers are off. You mop the place and plant the bombs where we need them. Seriously? I got a mop? Yeah, yeah, you really do. They'll clock you on the cameras if you're play-acting. You also need a fire truck to show up in when the bombs go off, and a getaway car stashed in a quiet place near the bureau so you can torch the truck and get out. The car doesn't have to be anything special. There shouldn't be any heat. Well, what about the other way, with the uh, ninja skills? Now you choose that route, you won't be using the janitor's gear, but we had to cover all the bases. Your FIB paymasters will have to provide you with a chopper and a pilot. Now you fly way up above the building, parachute in, and gain access to the roof here. Now you'll need to be armed to the teeth, mind you, just in case the uh, shit goes down. Mopping or parachuting? Wow, you're making this choice really difficult. Now Haynes has given us the leftover money from the Polito job to pull this mission, and the crew will be paid out of that. We keep the change. So, what's it gonna be? Of course. Uh, you'll need a, a hacker, a gunman, and a driver. The hacker won't come in with you, but they'll help you break the system, talking you through the process from a remote location. 
Ricky, I know he didn't do so good at the jewelry store, but he's probably gotten better, and he's still the same price. I don't know how long it'll take you to get into the network. The gunman's there to buy you the time you need. Well, should be okay. He's got a few scores left in him. Ah, my lucky charm from the jewelry store. This is a protected federal building. Are you absolutely sure this is how you want to take it? And we have a winner. I'll make the arrangements and call you when we're ready. All right, shit, hit me. You know, um, I'm still looking into that Union Depository gig. It's real interesting. But I don't know if we can do it without you-know-who. Uh, well, as long as he can't do it without us.